Okay, we're in the Plato Canal, which would be the, uh, the where you come out of the Plato from uh, Silly and Willie's West Coast digs into the Caloosahatchee River. We started in at 1.40 p.m. on November 7th, and we're going to idle on in. We're going to go under the uh, Cape Coral Parkway. I'm sorry, not the Cape Coral Parkway, the El Dorado uh, Bridge. Yeah, and everybody lives back. And then back into the country club area where Silly and Willie have an offer on a, a property. And we marked it with the GPS, so we should get mileage and we should get time to give you a sense of uh, of how long it'll get in and how long it'll take you to get in and out by boat. More to follow. Okay, this is part two, or maybe part three. I'm sort of losing count already. I haven't even used all the fingers in one hand. But this is the Plato Canal, and we are getting ready to head out and under Del Prado Boulevard. And this is the one I think that Willie said was eight foot of clearance. It looks easily eight foot. Of course, we're probably a foot below high tide, so that would make it nine. And Linda goes right to this office here on the right to get her her nose picked. Didn't you say it was your allergist office? Yeah, he doesn't pick my nose. See the water coming out? There's a pretty, there's a reasonable current. Looks like the tide's coming out. There's a lot of water uh, in the back here in these canals. So sometimes this, when we cross over Del Prado and look down, the water really rips through here. So. If you were boating through here, you'd need to be alert to that fact. What's the water depth here, Gary? Yeah, four feet. We got four foot of water depth, so uh, that gives you a sense as to, to how much uh, clearance. And there's some big boats through here. I don't think I could reach up and touch the ceiling, so that's not bad. Ooh, look at this on the left. Wow. I'd say that bridge needs a little work. There's a little bit of exposed rebar there. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if they, they check these bridges. I'm sort of surprised. I like that was chipped away with a tool. Yeah, but it was rusting, so if they were doing repairs, you think they'd keep it pretty good. So now you see that we're, uh, we're back on the west side of Del Prado and into the canals coming up on the country club area and then we'll hang a turn to port. It is uh, now, what, 1.50, so it's been 10 minutes, about 10 minutes at an idle to get from the river to Del Prado Boulevard. Just as an addition, we have about a, a 20 mile an hour wind today at our back, so it's pushing us up the canal, but the tide is going out, and we're idling at a little over a thousand RPM. So if that gives you any kind of sense as to the time you'd make. I think the wind is probably negated by the tide, so I think we'd probably be relatively neutral speed-wise. Okay, so we're okay, turning so off we've the just Rubicon made it up canal, through the Plato Canal, into the and we're Singapore making a canal. Port. And down at on the, the end Rubicon, of this canal, you can I can see, see the, the, uh, the church off and this uh, Coronado. The area. And oh, what time is it now, Gary? What well, time? they're, yeah, they're down off the next canal. 1.55. And it's, so it's uh, 15 what time minutes to get to the Rubicon. Uh, and we're now heading south. Six. So uh, uh, we're about 26 minutes from the river. Nice big wide canal. And Very pretty uh, back here, all condos and like stuff. Five, four, five, six, so about five and a half foot. And some big boats. We're probably There's down from high tide by a, a good here. foot. So plenty of water in these canals. That's an inboard too. Yeah. That's good. A pretty ride. Nice, nice real estate to look at. To the right. We're, right we're now going to make a turn on from the uh, end of the Stuyvesant Canal. And 
depth of the water at the mouth of the Stuyvesant? 5-8. Five 5-8? Five Plenty of good water here. Turkey vulture, right? <laughs> Bunch of turkey vultures flying around here, so if you guys, you know, run a little low on groceries, I don't know how they taste, but let us know. This looks like an eight. So here's an eight plex of your neighbors from the water. You did? What's the water depth here, Gary? It is five eight. Five eight. Alright, do you see this uh, with a little, oh, sorry, I think this uh, like uh, where all the bananas are here and, and this little boat's tied up, I believe that's their place. No, it could be the, no, I said there was four uh, Well, yep. Yeah, oh, it's the one, it's the next one, brown one. But it's like two piers coming out, so you'd have a dock oh, on each side. Each side, yeah, okay. Water depth? It is 6'3". Three. Six, three, so plenty of good water back here. Two elements, silly. Uh, Linda wants to know whether you guys, who's on the top and who's on the bottom, but I don't know what she means by that. They're on the, oh, you're on the bottom. Okay. So you're on the bottom looking up. Gotcha. Okay, so it looks like we got two finger docks put up by Hickok Marine. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, well, this Plenty of nice. water? Yeah. Yeah, they're on, it's one of the bottom ones, I'm pretty sure. Try the one on the left, it doesn't look like it's open. The wind's helping you here, huh? Yeah. Place looks good from the water. I see the grill that you were talking about. Yeah, a block or two this way is Cape Coral Parkway, right? Five foot right at the docks. So near all the restaurants. Five foot at the docks. So it looks like you got plenty of water here at the uh, the dock areas. And your neighbors across the canal. Looks like a big long condo unit. We got, a, we got bumpers out for Vaughn's boat already over here. <laughs> I got bumpers out for Vaughn. Yep. Oh yeah, the numb has got a, a tie up on the wall here. There's already a couple big bumpers. Out there. Yeah, you know, you think if Willie and Sonny were in the hospital, they would have had the place open with cold beer in the fridge, wouldn't you? So what, let's mark the time. 211. So it's 211. We're heading back out. We'll do another mark when we get uh, to the entrance to the river.